Hello, I'm Tim Clank with Master Tech, America's number one bumper to bumper service, collision, renovation, and integration center in Elkhart, Indiana. And today we've got a 2021 Nexus Rebel coach that we're doing a lithium build on. Now, this particular coach came with two 12 volt batteries. That was it on running the coach itself. This customer wants to be off grid. They want to be able to get to their location. They want to be able to camp for hours, days running off of battery systems. So what this system allows them to be able to do it. Now this is an entry level, or it's a little bit more than an entry level system, but um, this system that we're putting in is two 630 amp hour modules. Each module weighs 163 pounds, combining the two together were 326 pounds of safe lithium UL approved battery systems. The, in comparison to lead acid, if you would take lead acid batteries and put them all into parallel to be able to combine you know, at 12 volt, you're looking at well over 3,000 pounds of lead acid batteries, which in a recreational vehicle cannot sustain that a much weight. So what we do is we do a lithium battery systems. All of our systems are UL approved from the module to the BMS, to the charging platform. Everything is UL approved, RVIA approved, and approved for safety standards. It meets all insurance standards. So if there is an accident, every single battery is warrantied with a $5 million liability. That's how safe the Lithionics platform is. So in integrating this installation, we're combining it with a 3000 watt Victron Energy inverter system. We're doing the charge controller which will not only combine to their smartphone as well as the inverter system, but we're also putting in the Touch 70 control, which gives them a live interactive feed on what's actually going on with the 12 volt system, the inverter system, the solar system, etc. Combining, since this one is a 12 volt system, charging and in the back, we combine it with an ACR relay that's also provided by Lithionics. And what that does is it provides lithium platform for the regulator system on the chassis charge side. So the charge controller charging off the alternator, charging your house, your, your coach batteries, excuse me, is providing the safe parameters for the lithium battery system. So you cause absolutely no damage to the system. So um, at Master Tech, we know how to do this. We know how to do it right, whether you're at 48, whether you're at 12, whether you're at 24, it doesn't matter. We have integrations to meet every lifestyle. We do the biggest and the baddest and the simplest and the simplest. So anyways, if you want it done right and you want it safe and you want your insurance to be able to carry you in the future in case there is a loss, Come to Master Tech because we are America's number one integration center for lithium, solar, and anything else within your recreational vehicle. So this is the current bay of the Nexus recreational vehicle. It's got two 12 volt batteries in parallel at 12 volt. And then they have this distribution circuit breaker system up here. In order to make this all work with putting two 630 modules in here, we will have to reintegrate this entire top panel. So we will reorganize it. We are actually going to be turning it over to the side and shortening up the box. So we'll be basically rebuilding the distribution system. We will expand the compartment back to the frame and then completely box it in and weather tight it. So the battery's heater system can maintain heating standards as the Lithionics battery system is safe for 130 degrees in temperature and heat. And it's also good for cold weather package as well because of the integration with the heaters built into the module. So this is a before package and we'll show it to you afterwards. And we integrated this coach with Lithionics platform. This coach originally had two 12 volt batteries in this bay here. We reintegrated the bay, we made it deeper, we made it taller, we pulled the distribution that was in the back and flipped it over to the side to allow the storage of two 630 amp hour Lithionics batteries. Now we've made this coach a fully off -grade grid coach. This has a 3000 watt Victron Energy inverter system and plus it's got a couple solar panels that already were up on the top but this entire coach can run off battery systems air conditioner tvs microwaves anything 
of, I don't want to say low amperage because an air conditioner is typically an item that you do not run off the inverter system. However, with the Easy Start system on the air conditioner, we are able to physically run everything, including an air conditioner. Runtime with this, with the two 630 amp hour batteries, that's over 16,000 watt hours, we're able to pull on a high demand, that means setting the thermostat for ridiculously low or the heat pump for a ridiculously high, we're able to run over 12 hours of runtime on this system. So if a customer had this type of installation and wanted to be a little more conservative, that would extend well beyond that. So. But when we do a performance installation, we want, it, we want to know hard numbers. We want to put the system to the test. We want to do the break-in. We want to make, basically make, create demand on the system because we know performance is all about us. So taking a look in the system, we have our two battery systems here. Going down in the compartment down here, we have our BMS system in here. This is all Lithionics BMS. That controls the state of charge. It controls the charging. It controls the, the, the it's a contactor based BMS. Military grade hardware to really be able to run high amperage devices. Again, this is all a UL approved system, not only cell, but also BMS, unlike the other guys. So this is a multi-demand, this is insured. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about living inside the coach because any battery system that's got an internal BMS with a non-UL approved BMS is not what they call a habitual use battery. In other words, it's not made to run into a vehicle where you put your head down at night. But this coach and all of our integrations here at MasterTech are because we know that's the way you need to build things. So moving on a little bit deeper in the coach, in this compartment here, we have our Victron 3000 watt inverter system. We also have our smart charge controller that we integrated. We took out the, the wall mounted system on the inside and installed that. On the inside, we have um, our touch screen. We actually have the new Touch 70 on this installation combined with the Servo GX, which is the controller for that module. So in the inside of this coach with integration, this is your standard 50 amp distribution panel that the manufacturer installed. However, when we go with a full onboard inverter system, you, there's uh, devices in here that you do not want the inverter to run off of. So in traditional like boats and things of that nature, they typically put breakers that you have to turn on and off to prevent overloading of your inverter system. However, in a recreational vehicle use, you don't want, you don't have a command center where you can turn breakers on and off. And plus circuit breakers on these type of systems are not made to be turned on and off. They're an overload device, not a switch. So items such as the water heater, which has got a 110 element, you would never want to run that off of the inverter system. You want to save the inverter system for running the refrigerator, the air conditioner, the TV, the microwave, and any other device you want to plug in under the 110 volt platform. So we have a separate distribution panel here, which is actually a, a panel, and this is actually for all inverter devices. So what we do is we basically took the, the items that were previously wired into here, that were non-inverter use, and we moved them over to here. This coach was originally designed, it did have a 110 volt refrigerator in it. However, it had a thousand watt inverter that just ran the refrigerator in the back of the coach. Under any installation of an inverter system, the inverter is supposed to be within 10 feet of its power source, such as the battery system. So in our integration, we actually relocated the inverter system up to the front bay just behind the entrance door and wall mounted it as I showed you earlier in the video. Then we run the proper size wiring from the distribution to the inverter and then from the inverter back to the secondary distribution for all inverter devices. This is the touch 
70 control by Victron Energy in which you can see basically under the battery what we're charging. You can see that we are inverting right now. You can see there is no alarm. You'll see status light. You'll see the PV charger, AC loads, etc. We do have the, the original battery disconnect switch that was in here. We do have our advanced lithionics battery chart here which shows parameters of setting. So if anybody else happens to be adjusting things or they want to know things. All of that is stated here as part of our installation. Our BMS system under Lithionics, we always do an inside mounted switch. That allows you to be able to connect or disconnect your battery. So this switch, yes it is a battery on off switch, but this here is your master switch. That goes directly to the contactor based BMS system from, Lithi from Lithionics that actually turns on and off the battery itself. Combined with the charging under our 12 volt, because this is one of our 12 volt installations, and this actually charges off the original alternator, but we do run a, a different controller to allow the proper charging of the lithium battery system as required. So touch 50, we have all of our screens here. We have pages, we have menus, and you can go through. You can see that the inverter is a multi plus 12, 3000. It is physically inverting. You can see that the solar charger is a 15060 and it was charging. You can see state of charge, PV battery, yield, system yield, load, everything within the system is included here. This is a real life system. So it actually does have a screen to where, and I'm not the guy to do that, but it's actually got a, um, a full video screen that actually displays whether AC is coming in and it's actually got lines and it actually traces out with an arrow as far as what way the power is coming and going. So this is where the customer wanted this particular panel installed where the previous solar panel controller was. Uh, not my favorite position, but it's what the customer wants. So it does work fine for them. Now the magical question, we're inverting, the microwave is on, okay? Now we're gonna to go to the air conditioner. You gotta select this a couple times here. We're gonna go heat pump. Well, I don't think we need it 90 degrees in here. So these all have a little bit of a delay to them, but the air conditioner, boom. So air conditioner is working off the inverter. And again, this particular coach is designed with the amp storage capacity that we have of being able to run 16 hours plus. So in the event that you have a coach that physically, you don't need it to run that long, but maybe the next day you have like a four overcast sky. Maybe you don't have as much charging. You don't want to turn on the generator to charge, recharge the battery, or you didn't have AC present. This allows you more sustainability. Um, again, every coach is designed per the customer's requirements, per their camping conditions. So if you are the type of camper that always wants to be plugged or end up at a campground with it being plugged in, you don't need that type of capacity. But keep in mind that if you go with a smaller battery and you do get to the point where you want eight hours of runtime, 16 hours of runtime or more, because you could really be conservative with this. You just got to watch where you set your temperature. So you can basically shorten the, the cycling of the air conditioner to extend your battery capacity. And then the nice thing about this is it tells what your battery capacity is. So if towards the evening or afternoon, you can see where you're at. If you all of a sudden say, you know what, I'm getting down to 60%. Um, my PV, it's kind of an overcast, it's not charging much. So let's go ahead and turn on the generator for a few hours and then the generator will charge up the battery to allow me to make it through the night, you know, running my, my air machine or running the air conditioner, or whatever devices you want to run all night and not have to be interrupted by coming in and turning on a generator or not being able to use your breathing machine because you don't have 110 volt present. So these are smart integrations installed by the leader in technology, which is MasterTech. Uh, we installed a 360 camera system that 
Um, Nexus doesn't actually install that as so many other manufacturers don't just to the length of time it takes to integrate cameras on the side walls of the coach, the back of the coach, the front of the coach, and then programming, etc. So a lot of shops or a lot of manufacturers in Elkhart farm this out to Master Tech because they know we're integration specialists and been in business for over 20 years. So the monitor that was supplied with their kit that they supplied is the Perimeter View 360 camera system. You can see at the top, this is actually a resemblance of a motorhome. It's not the particular motorhome, but the cameras are calibrated all the way around the coach to the length of the coach. So if you're walking around the outside, you're gonna actually see where you're walking at. So when you're making a turn in a gas station, when you're in a campground backing into a campsite where there's a post, you can actually see what's going on there in your 360 camera system. This particular system has four different views on this. You have your back view, your front view, your left and your right that you can select. There is a manual button over here where you can actually select those views as well. But uh, when you physically put it in, this is basically set at reverse mode. But if you wanted to see what the front mode was, it's nothing more than selecting that. That's all three. That says top left and then top right. And there's a couple different views there, but this is actually the front view. So this is showing forward view of the coach itself. Again, this is just a selective mode. Most people are going to be putting this in the rear view mode uh, in order to physically see what's going on in the rear and then being able to turn on the cameras, being able to see what's going around the outside. So that's all summed up. We do have a couple other systems available as well other than the perimeter view. And uh, we install a lot of these gentlemen and ladies and uh, keeps you guys safe, keeps you guys from hitting things out in the road, which we all know happens and uh, makes a lot of conversations within the cab a little more friendly. Therefore, you don't always need to have somebody out on a two way radio communicating or on cell phone to cell phone saying, come on back come to the left, come to the right. With a 360 camera system, it ends a lot of those arguments and keeps you guys safe and um, enjoying the lifestyle. So thank you. I'm Tim Clank with Master Tech, America's number one bumper to bumper service, collision, renovation, and integration center in Elkhart, Indiana.